does it take to make a good community? Well, as any home or business owner knows, infrastructure is crucial. Infrastructure is the key component to keeping the, uh, the economic engine flowing. Understanding the elements of infrastructure is like looking at four basic things you need when you're building a home. Access, such as a road. Water flowing both in and out. Power and the means to communicate. But a recent evaluation which ranked Utah as the top state for business showed there is room for improvement in our infrastructure. For instance, in the east coast of the United States, their infrastructure issues are more aging infrastructure and trying to keep up with uh, the, maintenance, the regular maintenance of this infrastructure. In Utah, our infrastructure issues are due to our very high population growth. And that high population growth creates high demand for these, uh, these projects and for these, these infrastructure needs. Let's look at transportation. In order to pick up groceries, you have to be able to get to the store. Or if you order goods, somehow they must be delivered. We need good roads. There's also a growing demand for alternative forms of transportation. This includes light rail, commuter rail, bus rapid transit. We're seeing a lot of new kinds of infrastructure being built that are meeting some of that demand and also giving people much more mobility and the ability to have more walkable communities. Just like roads, we all need water. While we can create new roads and we can, re can create new uh, sewer lines and we can create new phone lines or energy lines, we can't create more water. So water is uh, one of those limiting uh, assets that we have to be able to allocate it more and more efficiently. As Utah surpasses three million people, on track for a population of around five million in the next few decades, we'll need to conserve. We probably don't all need a third of an acre of Kentucky bluegrass in our backyard. The vast majority of energy in the state comes from coal. It's been that way for a long time. But we're seeing the development of alternative sources of energy. And so one of the challenges is uh, how long we maintain the current infrastructure versus switching over to a different source of this energy. And a healthy community needs the resources to communicate. So if you think about what was data 100 years ago, it was a telephone that was run by probably an operator. And then fast forward to today, we're now transmitting billions of, of bits of data in our front room or in our, our kitchen. We all benefit from efficient connections, and access to data is essential for the development of our high-tech community. A strong infrastructure requires investment to protect what we have and adapt for what we'll need. One of the most difficult parts of planning uh, infrastructure is we're essentially looking 50 years from now and trying to anticipate what the needs will be then. But what we know is that an, an investment today can pay high rewards later on. For the Utah League of Cities and Towns, I'm Susan Wood.